was eight years before Wilhelm Röntgen documented his own X-ray discovery, which won Röntgen the Nobel Prize in Physics. Mad Electricity will return on Modern Marvels, here on History. We now return to Mad Electricity on Modern Marvels. The United States consumes 20 million barrels of oil a day, and gasoline prices constantly reach new highs. A century ago, Tesla saw the future of fossil fuels. If we use fuel to get our power, we are living on our capital and exhausting it rapidly. This method is barbarous and wantonly wasteful and will have to be stopped in the interest of coming generations. Tesla was disturbed by the rate at which society was burning up non-renewable fuels. Coal, oil was just coming in then, and he foresaw a time that you would need to go to some other source of power. Tesla anticipated the development of what we now call renewable energy. In 1901, he patented an apparatus for the utilization of radiant energy. The patent refers to the sun, as well as other sources of radiant energy, like cosmic rays. Nikola Tesla was one of the first people to realize that we have an almost endless supply of energy coming in from space, from our own sun. I bet he wouldn't be surprised to find out that today all kinds of applications are running on solar power. Tesla also championed geothermal power. In 1931, he wrote an article for the New York Times entitled our future motive power, which explored how to utilize the Earth's natural energy. All that is necessary is to find an economic and speedy way of sinking deep shafts to tap into this enormous geothermal energy. One cutting edge car maker is paying homage to Tesla's green foresight by adopting his name. Tesla Motors in San Carlos, California, makes a battery-driven Tesla Roadster that goes from zero to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds. Using a version of Tesla's AC induction motor, it travels more than 200 miles without a drop of gas. Tesla was also a green lighting pioneer at the 1893 Chicago World's Fair, Tesla displayed a fluorescent bulb that burned much cooler and lasted longer than Edison's incandescent bulbs. A forerunner of today's longer lasting efficient lighting. This is an actual Edison light bulb. This filament's made of uh, carbon and by passing electricity through it, it becomes heated and this heat produces a, a white light. More than half of the energy that went into this light bulb produced heat instead of light, and that made it very inefficient. Tesla, as a result, developed a, a lamp on a different principle that didn't produce heat. It produced light by a gas inside of a bulb. The electricity enters the bulb through the ends, and there's electrodes inside. And as it enters the bulb, the gas would get excited and ignite inside, lighting the whole space within the walls of the tube. The result was the light was brighter, it ran cooler, and it was more efficient than Edison's bulb. The modern compact fluorescent light operates on the same principle. There's gas inside that's excited by a high voltage. And this is Tesla's principle still used today. Which other of Tesla's ideas were too far ahead of his time? History may have neglected this genius, but today, he is being rediscovered. I believe that someday we will reinvestigate Tesla's work and we will discover the secrets that he was so confident in. Nikola Tesla made the modern world what it is today. And although it took many years for a lot of people to finally realize it, I think perhaps uh, that is changing now. The legacy of Tesla is really this creative spirit of the inventor. To have no bounds on thought. He really believed anything was possible. 
Let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to their work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future, for which I really worked, is mine. Nikola Tesla.